Anybody know me, they know my grandma is like my uh, my rock. You know what I'm saying? Like no matter what I've been through in my life, she was right there with the boy. She'd be like, you won't write, but that's my baby. So you know, you know, you know what I mean? So, you know, life talk about his moms. I'd say I never had a mom or a dad in my life, but my grandma been my everything. So this is my dedication to my grandma. Like I said, you know, it's kind of rough, so just bear with me. See me? Unseemingly, I was birthed of virgin blood, for I was born my grandmama's baby. Had no choice but to be the old soul that I am, for I was predestined to be the soulmate of an old lady. Or maybe I'm one of God's chosen ones, like guys are so like Sarah, God's chosen one named Rita May that was serving to her last day to be my guardian angel under these heavenly skies. See a whom would epitomize as my spiritual advisor teaching me of hell and heaven within the tears of her angelic eyes. And God knows when her tears flow, Father Nature wept as Father Time paced in place as if he had nowhere to go. For in layman terms, time seems still as despite the uncle, the weather. But see, with despite the conditions, with no conditions, under her last breath, under her gasping breath, in God's name she would reclaim that joy, that trouble don't last always, but joy will come within the morning light. So I'm talking about my grandmama, y'all. My, my mother and father and one, my best friend to all is done my everything. My grandmama. The lady who rubbed my chest with so much thick vapor that I couldn't even breathe in that. The same lady, sometimes when I was six, she would go out in the yard and just rake up a bottle of pine straw and boil it just to make sure her baby be all right. So I'm talking about my grandma. See, I don't know nothing about grocery stores as a little boy, because see, my grandma used to send me out in the chicken pen to get, get the egg. And me and my cousin used to be amazed every time we saw a blue egg. We'd be like, Dad, that's, that's, that's what's up. So I'm talking about my grandmama. And I know a lot of people can't get with this because they probably never went out in the garden one of them little patches to get a head of lettuce. See, I'm talking about my grandmama, the same lady that used to let me eat the pastry off the table before she was making it. Chicken pastry, that is. I'm talking about my grandmama, y'all. And you know what's funny? Like, no matter how you travel through life and you see a little bit of money, but... This might sound a little bit of funny, but even though we was dead poor, we was happy. All right, that's right. Talking about my grandmama that that flow, Evans' grandmama. You know what I mean? Good times every time. And I remember when when I was just a little boy. I'm just talking to y'all right now because I'm just talking about my grandma. So the poem stops. So I don't know. You know what I mean? But I'm just talking. To, you know what I mean? If it rhymes a little bit, that's just what it is. But I'm just talking about my grandma. You know what I mean? And it, and it's funny, right? Like my cousin could contest it is like I'm I'm 32 I put it out there I'm 32 years old or young years old right but I know that's right you know what I'm saying but but it was a beautiful thing because see I grew up with an outhouse until I was like eight years old we didn't even have no running water in our times right I know you better say it again I don't know if you ever been out one in, in a storm you a telecord but but you know what's funny. I ain't even realized we were poor till I went to somebody else's house. I went to one of my homeboys' house one day after a baseball game, and he had like uh, a TV and they drove a Benz. I was like, "How they doing?" I went back to school and told everybody, "Keeping them rich." <laughs> but despite this situation, right, grandmama, she, she, she held everything together. She always held the boy down, and no matter what went on, she made everything like life just seemed so so beautiful. So when when my man like be talking about his mama and the things like he went through. That's just some real stuff. So I had to. I, I got to start this poem. I had to start this 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 joint. A dedication to my grandma because I done wrote three books and I done wrote numerous spoken word pieces and I really haven't had an official dedication to my grandma. So that was the beginning thoughts of my grandma. piece. All right. All right.